had a, they could prove an adequate um, interest in the part. Uh, they weren't a true party in interest, and that they didn't have a right to file the proof of claim. Um, so bankruptcy court is where we see um, the the greatest amount of understanding amongst the the judges as far as the securitization. But that's because they deal with mortgages, um, lending institutions, and in bankruptcy court all the time. Um, so that's where the strongest um, understanding is and the rulings in the favor of homeowners with regard to the lender's lack of documentation. That's where it's been happening the most is in bankruptcy court. Of course, once you're in bankruptcy court, you're probably surrendering the home anyway. So it, then it becomes a question of, do you want to pay for litigation or do you simply just want to let the property go in bankruptcy? So um, it's a huge problem. I think we've just kind of scratched the surface on it and I definitely anticipate um, a lot of litigation down the road on these issues. Uh, okay, last question. If you get foreclosed on, how long before you can get a home again and or bankrupt? Okay, uh, so if you uh, allow a home to go in foreclosure, uh, typically it will be three to four years before you will be eligible for a home loan under you know traditional conventional financing. So VA, FHA, um, uh, a conventional 30-year fixed, um, any, any scenario where you would be going to a major lender um, where you would have less than 20% to put down or exactly 20% to put down, you're looking at three to four years before you'll be eligible. If you, um, if you have um, the ability to get hard money lending or any other type um, of uh, financing, then you would um, not necessarily be um, strict, strict to those rules. There are some very creative finance companies that are coming out as, as a result of the foreclosure crisis um, that are willing to lend if you've got substantial um, income um, or more than 20% to put down. Sometimes you can get a loan sooner than three to four years. With regard to bankruptcy, um, bankruptcy um, is about the same. Um, it's two to three years. If you surrender a home in bankruptcy, it's going to be three years. If you don't surrender a home in bankruptcy, then it'll be two. Um, and that's a FHA guideline. Um, and pretty much Fannie and Freddie um, will adhere to those regulations as well, or those recommendations as well. Um, we actually have materials, I believe, on our website that talk about loan worthiness and how to go about getting qualified again for um, financing. Uh, we also have a couple of loan officers that we have contact information for that um, help bank post bankruptcy clients and post foreclosure clients rebuild their credit and help them get loan worthy again. So if you do want any of that information, don't hesitate to email or call the office and we'll be more than willing to share that with you. Um, I appreciate everyone's attention and, and tuning in and uh, I think next week we're going to be talking about the differences between Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcy on a general basis. Uh, a lot of times there's again facts and fiction uh, with regard to bankruptcy and so we're going to dispel some of those myths next week. We, I look forward to those questions. Um, if you'd like to share this webinar or listen to it again, it'll be posted on our website within um, a couple of days. And uh, please refer your friends to it. And I hope to hear and see all of you next week. Thanks.